there, welcome to Radiant Art Inspirations, where you get easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials and some product reviews. Today, we are doing an unboxing slash review on the standard craft and go. Let's get started. It is 28 inches by 13 inches, and it weighs 22 pounds. Compared to the mini, which is 22 inches by 13 inches, you're dealing with a lot more space right here. The Craft & Go comes with magnets, as we can see right here. They are very strong, even though they're pretty small. It also comes with this top shelf that is also magnetic. Here are some magnets and you can put it on like this. So this would be a good table for your paints and if you wanted to put some magnets on your palette when you're moving your craft and go from venue to venue it won't move around. In the inside it is a tray that you see here to place your paints right when you pack up or if you need to put extra supplies it also comes with a set of two keys to lock your craft and go and it also comes with and let me put this in there fantastic it also comes with a nether magnetic sheet right here and on the back it's like a double sided foam tape so you can actually stick it inside of your tray and it won't move the craft and go also has very strong hinges so let's say it's a windy day or someone bumps into it i hit it at a pretty decent strength and it didn't move at all. It's because these hinges are locked right here. So that is a really nice feature for when you're painting is that you don't have to worry that at any time this lid will fall. It does take a little bit of force to push it down, which is great, but not too much force to where you're struggling. Right here is where you will place your split cakes, your rainbow cakes, your glitter, your stencils, and whatever else you wish to place up here. It truly looks super beautiful when you have all your rainbow cakes because when someone passes by your kit they're like oh my gosh I love all of your colors and that's what makes this kit so unique but also makes it look so professional is that you're displaying all of your supplies for everyone to see but also it's placed in the back so that people can't actually grab it right this is fully in your control compared to some other kits or if you're placing all of your supplies on the table anyone can grab it any child could be curious and grab your glitter or your split cake but in this kit right here this is fully your domain and you feel very confident but also very secure with your supplies this magnetic shelf can go on either side of your kit depending on if you're left or right-handed or you know if you just want to prefer one side or over the other. The best part about this Craft & Go is not just the size, but it's actually the legs. And this is the biggest difference between the Craft & Go Standard and the Mini. So let's take a look at the legs. Here we have four, and let me just tell you, they are stiff. Pulling it out takes a little bit of force, and you can either love it or you hate it. In my opinion, because it is so sturdy, I don't have to worry about it when it's in the car knowing that it'll always be locked in place and then it has the hinges right up here that you can that you can feel that lock and it's it's decently sturdy pull it all the way out to feel that the hinge feels nice and stiff these legs do extend so this little black piece right here it's so easy to use you just flick it and then you lift and pull, right? And then you close it for at your desired height. Look how easy that is. It's amazing. These are very lightweight legs and they are sturdy. And also you can tell right here, it has a little stopper where it has a nice grip so that if you're on a hard surface, the Craft & Go isn't gonna slip in any way, but it also protects the floor as well. Cause like you don't wanna go to a client's house or a venue and then like you ruin their floor, right? No, of course not, you don't wanna do that. So this is a very nice little detail that they added. With these legs, you might 
might hear some squeaking sounds and that is when you would like to add some WD-40. Now with the one that I got in the mail, I have not had any issues with any like squeeching noises of any kind. So I have not needed to add any type of lubricant. But if at any time you hear some squeaking sound, just remember adding some lubrication is going to fix that issue. The legs, when not extended, go to 25 inches above the ground. And when they are extended like so, it is 34 inches off the ground. I am five feet tall. I am standing right next to the standard craft and go at 34 inches off the ground and it feels very comfortable. I am happy with the height. I don't have to crouch down or be on my tiptoes. And the nice thing is that you're able to adjust the legs to your desired height or even if you're on unleveled ground, you're able to individually for all of the legs, size them to the desired height so that to you it's leveled even when the ground is not. Another unique feature to this Craft & Go compared to the Mini is this handle. As you can tell, it's a little bit more extended, so you need that little bit of extra slack right here for those that might be a little bit taller, right? So that you're not kind of crouching down. You don't wanna do that. So this is a nice little detail that I do really appreciate for this Craft & Go. On one side of the kit, you have two wheels right here, so you can drag it like a suitcase and then a stopper. So when it is sitting on its side, it's not gonna scratch up your very amazing kit. So now let's talk about some add-ons that you can get for your Craft & Go. One of the add-ons that might be the most popular when purchasing a Craft & Go Extra is a tray. You can buy the tray just like this, or you can also buy it with the lid, which will be a little bit extra. And you attach this tray on the side of your Craft & Go. What's very cool about this tray is that you have these two little stoppers right here, so it holds very well. It's very sturdy when you place it on the side, and it also protects it, so if it gets too too heavy, it's not gonna lean down too much. It's gonna stay nice and sturdy. I am pressing now on the extension tray with a decent amount of force and it's holding nicely. Of course, you do not wanna place all of your weight on it because it might break, but you can put a good amount of supplies in here and it would hold pretty well. The expansion tray also fits really nicely right inside of the tray that's already built in the Craft and & Go. And then you have a little bit of extra space and the tray doesn't actually touch the bottom of the tray inside of the Craft & Go. So you can place like extra towels, sheets of paper, I don't know, whatever you wanna put. If you're really creative with space, you'll probably find a purpose to place something right under the tray of the, of the expansion tray and then the tray inside of your Craft & Go. Here are some other add-ons that you can add on the outside or place in the inside of your kit. The first one is the brush and tool holder. It comes in one color and here with the grips that it has, you can put in your paint brushes, your pens, your scissors as well. And it comes with an adhesive clip that you can place on the outside of your kit. You can place magnets on the bottom to put on top or you can also place magnets right here because this comes uh, unattached and you can place it right up here as well. They also have these small containers as well that come in every color of the Craft & Go so you can have it to match or if you want to make your kit look really colorful, you can get different colors. This one could be to hold your spray bottle, your essentials, or even your business cards. You can place it on the side, or you could add some Velcro and add it right on top like so. There's also a bigger one like this that does come with foam to where you can add your brushes if you wish, or you can remove the foam and place other essentials, like maybe extra paints if you like, or anything like that. And you can place it on any side of your Craft & Go, or you can even place a caddy and place it right inside because it fits 
perfectly. And for those that do not know, a caddy is to hold your poofer glitters. So you can place it in here or you can place it right on top or even attached to the magnet right here as well. Also on their website are these transparent bags to where you can add your stencils or your extra glitter. And what's really fantastic is that it's see-through, so you know exactly what's inside. And if you like, you can get a magnet and attach it right on top or place anywhere that you desire. When you are gluing on your magnets to your supplies, the best glue and the strongest glue to use at the moment is E6000. This is a very strong super glue to where you can place it on your supplies and it will not come off. So it's amazing just to try not to get it on your fingers. You can also get some crafty storage jars to add either your loose gems or if you want to place your finger daubers in here. They're also transparent, they're beautiful, so you know exactly what's inside. And it has a nice sturdy lid that you screw on and you don't have to worry about it opening when you're moving from venue to venue. There's also these simple storage boxes where you can add, if you like, any of your loose supplies that might be small or hair ties and bobby pins and band-aids because if you've been face painting for a while, you know you're gonna need those exact things. They also have different sized plastic palettes. You have a palette of six, there's also a smaller one to where you can add your paints if you wish. And then also one this size as well. They do come with lids that are very easy to apply right on top, just like so. And you can also add small miscellaneous items, your gems, or like I said a little bit earlier, your paints as well. The last thing that I would like to show you for the add-ons on the Craft & Go is not everybody likes this shiny looking magnetic background. And with the magnets, it does scratch it just a little bit. So if you don't like this, they also have black vinyl to where you can apply it onto your Craft & Go. Let me show you. Here is merely an example. You would actually take off the vinyl and stick it on. I did place magnets in the corners just as a visual aid. What I absolutely love about this vinyl is that you don't have to cut and measure and guess. It fits perfectly. So you just literally take the vinyl off the paper and you stick it on. For those that do like the black vinyl, it really makes your rainbow cakes pop even more and you don't get that reflection as well. In order to properly apply the vinyl, you will have to unscrew all of the nails that attach the magnetic surface to the craft and go, you place on the vinyl and then you re-screw on the screws that are a part of the craft and go. And to prevent any bubbles or any kind of mishaps, this is also provided to where you will scrape as you go along so that it goes on perfectly. If you need an example on how to apply the vinyl, the Craft & Go website does have a tutorial on how to apply it. I will place that link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and like this video if you enjoyed the content right here. We also did an unboxing and review on the mini Craft & Go. The link is up here and also in the description box below. While you're scrolling through social media, take a look at our TikTok at Radiant.Art where we have almost 600,000 followers and our Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations where we post all of our step-by-steps for our face paint tutorials and some more as well. You can find all those links in the description box below. That is it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.